It will move to Oyo, where Governor Shei Makinde has talks contractors working on the Ajia Airport and Moloko Lone Sugar Road to improve their working pace. Governor Makinde made the call while inspecting the ongoing works at the 21-kilometer Ajia Airport Road, which spurs to Amuluku Olorosogo areas of the state. He noted that the government is satisfied with the quality of works being done on the project, but there is a need for an improvement so that residents of the area will begin to enjoy good road networks. Projects we thought uh, by our third year anniversary, uh, they should have been uh, uh, finished. Uh, yes, we are pushing the contractor is also uh, pushing, I think in terms of quality, uh, we're okay, but uh, in terms of the uh, pace, I think uh, uh, they can do better. Over 4 billion naira has been spent on procuring starter packs of 194 youths trained on smartphone repair in Adamawa State under its end skills. The Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, Sadia Umar Farouk, Disclosed this at the graduation ceremony of the 194 youths. Our correspondent Olabi Adenusi filed in this report. Recent data released by the National Bureau of Statistics in 2022 shows that unemployment among young Nigerians within ages of 15 to 34 years stand at 21.72 million or 42.5 percent of the 29.94 young nigerians while national unemployment rate stood at 33.3 percent the high rate of unemployment has been of concern to government at all levels who despite his pledge to take 100 million youths out of the street has been largely unsuccessful at this all are the new batch of the graduates who have undergone training of smartphone repair initiated by the federal government to reduce poverty among the Timi youths. President Buhari gave approval for the expansion of the NSIP for the youth of Adamawa State. Its aim is to provide job opportunity for another 11,223 youths after successfully exiting 15,825 youths under the batch A and B. The minister is represented by the National Coordinator of the National Social Investment Programs, NSIP, Dr. Umar Buba Binde, at this event. He insists that the program is on course to lift 100 million Nigerians out of poverty in the next 10 years. So it means even solving the poverty, if you don't solve poverty amongst young people, there is a big problem. So it is in this vice that the president said, National Social Investment Program, go and concentrate on young people, work hard on young people, open the eyes of Nigeria's young people. The beneficiaries commend the federal government for the initiative, believing it will add value to their societal growth. We make sure that with these skills that we have acquired, we will be able to gain something. The young people will come at us and say thank you. The trainees will undergo another six months of informal apprenticeship to be supervised by master agents in the state. They will be properly supervised to remove unserious ones from the list during the apprenticeship training. We move to politics now. The collection of presidential nomination forms in the two leading political parties is throwing up a lot of dark horses. An indication that the emergence of presidential candidates may take a surprising turn. Now, one of the names touted is the CBN governor, Godwin Emefiele. And those rooting for his emergence insist his efficient management of the Central Bank of Nigeria reflects the fact that he will be able to handle the bigger task of managing Nigeria. Taya Modu reports. Despite the heavily criticized decision of the All Progressives Congress to peg the cost of its presidential form at 100 million naira, those who have indicated interest in running for president have almost hit 30. So far, 12 aspirants have purchased the presidential nomination form. But one name has been raising a lot of controversy, Godwin Emefiele. There's no gain saying the fact that the Central Bank of Nigeria under Godwin Emefiele has become more humane, intervening in situations that directly affect the common man. Some experts have termed the people-oriented policies under which the CBN has operated in the last seven years 
economic nationalism. Currently, the CBN has 37 intervention funds targeted at stimulating the economy and addressing the issue of unemployment. The Uncle Borrower scheme in particular has recorded tremendous success. These are successes that are enough to justify his emergence as a presidential aspirant. And in the past few weeks, some groups have been pushing for his involvement in the 2023 presidential race under the platform of the All Progressive Congress. A group of associates have even gone ahead and picked a nomination form for him, raising 100 million naira in the process and promising to raise even more to support his campaign. But Mr. Emifiel's emergence has raised a lot of questions, with many challenging the propriety of his throwing his hat in the ring while still a serving civil servant and governor of the country's Apex Bank. Former Vice President of the World Bank, Dr. Obi Ezekiel is one of those who believes Mr. Emefiele should resign immediately. He says in a tweet, The governor of Central Bank of Nigeria at Sem Bank must now immediately tender his resignation to stop further destroying whatever little remains of the country's monetary policy reputation. Mr. Emefiele should immediately leave tonight to pursue his ill-fated political career. The Southwest Governor's Forum is also not comfortable with Mr. Emefiele's seeming emergence Describing it as an act, if unchecked timelessly, portends great danger to the fragile economy of the country. It insists that should Mr. Emefiele proceed to submit the forms while occupying seat as governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, he will be contravening the public service rules, the CBN Act, and the 1999 Constitution as amended. In Ondo State, the state chapter of the All Progressives Congress has advised world youth leaders to, in the 18 local government areas of the state to shun unnecessary divisions ahead of its primary elections. The state APC chairman, Ade Aditime, gave the advice Nakure at the General Assembly discussion for world leaders in Undo Central Senatorial District. Ayode Jimoradeo reports. It is few days to the conduct of primary elections by the ruling All Progressives Congress APC across Nigeria. The Undo State chapter of the APC is sensitizing world leaders in the three senatorial districts of the state ahead of the primaries. Youth from Undo Central Senatorial District converge on the State Information Technology Development Agency Hall for the meeting, tagged General Assembly Discussion. The state chairman of the APC. Adia Adetibeni said all hands must be on deck to encourage more youth to venture into politics. Represented by the state organizing secretary of the party, Charles Fakunka, the chairman stressed the need for members to be more united. I want to believe the essence of this gathering is for, for them to conscientize the youth of their youthful essence for the party and of course mobilizing across the world and to digest, you know, of their youthful age at the same time. They should do things by mobilizing at every word, you know, so that the successes would be for us. We need a good success at this end. State youth leader Ayola Wandeosma appealed to world youth leaders to shun defections and unnecessary bickering. We call something pre-primary, that we have uh, a pre-primary engagement with our youth leaders so that our, the leaders of the party we put ourselves together we engage ourselves we tell ourselves the challenges we will have in our front we tell ourselves how the party is important and we tell ourselves the reason why we need to support our party in our election the preparation of the election i want to advise our youth to be active in the election and to drive themselves as a youth leader, to show their competency, to show their arrogance in the coming election. It is expected that the meeting will be held in the two other senatorial districts in the days ahead. Ayodeji Moradeo, TVC News, Akure.